What's up everybody? Got a new headset to show you guys. It's a Blue Parrot C400 XT. It's a brand new headset that they just came out with in, I believe November, maybe December. And I was looking online and they don't have many reviews out there on it. Blue Parrot contacted us and asked us to do a review on this one. I was kind of hesitant at first just because I've always been a Blue Tiger fan. I've had probably about three sets of Blue Tiger Elites. Who says no to a free headset, right? They did send this to us for free to do a review on. We are not being paid to do the review. But since it's a item that we use in trucking a lot, I figured it'd be something good to share with you guys. I will say in uh, past uh, the past year or so, I've been having problems with my Blue Tiger not working really well with my iPhone. iPhone's been coming out with, uh, you know, they come out with a new iOS every year. And this last year when they came out with a new one, my Blue Tiger Elite kept uh, messing up. It wouldn't connect right. It would connect and I'd be in the middle of a conversation and then it would disconnect and having to fiddle around with that if I'm driving down the road. It's just not, not something you should be doing. It was really problemsome for me. I've been trying out this C400 XT for about, probably about a month now. And I have to say, I'm in love. This thing is awesome. The way it works with the iPhone, it just, it works perfectly. There's an app that you download on your iPhone to, to get it to work with the iPhone. Few features I like on this thing and I'll I'll open up the box and show you everything it came with. It has a dedicated blue parrot button which works for like if you use the Zello app, the walkie-talkie app, you can uh push the button on your headset instead of reaching down or handling your phone. You can just touch your headset, which is a good thing we do not need to be touching our phones while we're out here driving. Another feature I really like about it is I'll keep my headset hanging up here when it's not in use and I don't keep it powered on all the time. But if I get a phone call, I just reach up here, throw it on, hold the power button down. It automatically powers up, connects to my phone. And if my phone's ringing at the time I'm turning it on, it will, it will tell me, getting a call, do you wish to answer or ignore? And I don't have to push anything. I just say answer or ignore if I don't want to take that call. Less fiddling with devices I, I think is really cool. I, 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 I've really fallen in love with this thing. There's a few things. The headset part was really, it's really flimsy and I was really concerned about that, thinking it wasn't going to be very comfortable. But this thing's so lightweight. like. I mean, you barely feel it on your head. I've never been one of those people that like to push the earbuds in my ear. I like how it sits just right on the the outside of my ear. It's not really bulky. It's so lightweight that you don't even really feel it on there. So, you know, having this wire kind of headset part, I, I was concerned about it at first, but I have to say I really like it. It's comfortable. I wasn't thinking it was going to be very comfortable. So if you look at the Blue Tiger, I mean, it's got this nice padding. Mine's already pretty worn out some. It's all tore up. My ear, It's got a really big, comfy earbud. But, it, it, I mean, it's big, you know? I mean, it's heavy. You know it's on there. The mic is adjustable and stuff. But the way this covers your ear, my ear would get sweaty sometimes. It's a good headset. Blue Tiger and Blue Parrot are the two top dogs and trucker headset but as small as this thing is i just I, I love it uh the mic is adjustable you can adjust it to you know which direction to fit in front of your mouth this is also adjustable for us big headed people <laughs> this is a nice soft rubber here so you you don't have a hard plastic like shoving into the side of your head. It does come with a little foam windscreen that you could put over this to add to some, some of the comfort. So I'm gonna open up the box. You get the headset in the box. It automatically comes on this, uh, this type of headset. But uh, I like what Blue Parrot did with this is they added some new, some different kind of things so you can wear them. For instance, I wear mine over the head like that, but it comes with these things that you can wear it behind your ear. 
this is the first time I've played with these, but they don't fit my head very well. <laughs> I got a big head though, I'm telling you. It comes with one that you can wear it on the left side or the right side. So if you're one of those people that don't like it going over your head and you want to wear it like that, it uh, the device easily, easily connects to one of these. The left side, I don't recommend just because when you're driving, you got your window cracked and if you have your device covering up your left ear it makes it harder for you to hear uh, things going on outside maybe screeching of tires or horns being honked or anything like that so i've always typically worn my headset on my right side leaving my left side to listen for anything happening outside maybe a tire blowing something popping on the truck screeching of tires anything just a to be more self-aware of uh, road hazards and stuff. If you got a really big dome like I do, these things will not fit. They're not fitting my head very well. But I'll show you how they connect to these. This is your whole device right here. You got your charging port there. You got a volume down, volume up, power, and this is that blue parrot button I was telling you about. So to get this head piece off, it just snaps right off then you uh, wiggle this part out of the, the headset part then you got the around the back of your neck headset part this thing this is your earbud it's got kind of like a groove right here you just snap it inside that hole all right so I got it snapped in there it was kind of hard to get snugged in there but once it it's in there it's nice and tight then you take your earbud uh, piece snap that on over the edge there snaps in adjust it to your liking then it fits over your ears like this this side it's not gonna fit very well on my head like I mentioned I got a big old dome and then you could wear it like that if you wanted not my preference if that's your preference you can use that now some of the features that they have uh, wear over the head or behind the neck like I showed you connect to two Bluetooth devices at once so for instance i could connect to my phone and heather's phone at the same time if we wanted i don't know if i'll ever have a need for that but it's pretty cool that you can do that maybe you're a husband and wife and you share a headset well you could have two devices connected to it at the same time it says it has talk over 24 hour per charge which is really big for how small this thing is. We have tested that out. I don't sit there and talk on the phone a lot. I'll, I'll sit there and listen to people talk on Zello. And I think it lasted me a good four or five days before I had to charge it. They also say it has the industry's best noise canceling. And we've tried this out as well. And it surprisingly, it's really good. I was uh, driving down the road and I was talking to somebody on the phone. And Heather, she was, uh, you know, just right back there in the sleeper. And on the Blue Tiger, if I, somebody, if I was talking to somebody on the phone, they could hear her hollering stuff in the back. With this, she couldn't. And I'm gonna do a little demonstration with this. I'm gonna try to record a little video with my phone outside, walking around the generator and the truck and stuff, and kind of see how that sounds. It has a 300 foot wireless range programmable parrot button which like I mentioned I use that for the Zello walkie-talkie app if you take a look at their website it's uh, vxicorp.com on their website it says it has advanced noise canceling microphone 96% and HD voice uh, it is also water resistance and cold temperature rated down to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit that, that's pretty good and I have not tested the water resistance yet but if you wear your headset a lot like some folks do and you're walking into the truck stop you don't have to worry about a little bit of rain drizzle uh, messing it up on you um, one thing I do like is this really good microphone uh, cover it doesn't come off easy so you're not gonna lose it like the Blue Tiger elites I've lost so many of those things I lost count we're gonna jump out right now we're gonna do some uh, video testing I'm gonna test the audio with just the iPhone and then I'm gonna test the audio with the microphone connected to the iPhone and I'll walk around the truck uh, the generators running right now and we'll test out this noise canceling all right so we're recording on the iPhone I got my my mouth really close to the phone just so we can uh, test out the just the audio on that I'm gonna walk by the generator right now all right 
Now I'm going uh, to connect the microphone and do another walk around. We'll see how it does. All right, I got the microphone connected now. See how this sounds walking next to the generator again. I wonder, uh, like in truck stops, when you're walking through the truck stops, it gets really noisy, you know. And if you're on a phone call walking inside the store, having some good noise canceling could be pretty helpful. So as you guys can see, the noise canceling on it is just absolutely phenomenal. It cannot be beat. You can't even hear the generator as I walk by it and it's running. Whereas using the, the iPhone microphone, <laughs> it just, it was horrible. That's kind of be, to be expected because the audio on a iPhone it ain't the best. Now let's do a audio test walking around with this microphone and this uh, GoPro. I got the GoPro. Face it forward, but the microphone is really close to my mouth, and you are probably having trouble hearing me. Um, it is windy out, too. And that was the audio with uh, a GoPro. I have a really good microphone on the GoPro. As you can see, the noise canceling on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. The price of this headset is, it's kind of pricey. It's listed on their website for $139.99. I've looked at Amazon also, and it's $139.99 on Amazon also. It's a pricey headset, but you're gonna get what you pay for. You know, you're gonna get a quality, good headset that works. The microphone is phenomenal. The HD voice in there is phenomenal. I can always hear people if I'm talking on the phone. It's nice, real clear audio. So I think Blue Parrot outdid theirself on this one. This thing is the top dog, in my opinion. So, if you guys are interested in getting one of these, I'll have a link down in the description for it to get it on Amazon. We'll have a link for their website. You can purchase it from there also. I have not seen it in the truck stops yet. It is still a, a new headset. They, they did, just came out with it not too long ago, but you might be able to find it in the truck stops also. I'm sure they'll have it for about the same price in there. If you guys have this headset, let any, everybody else know in the comments how, how much you like it, because uh, this thing has just became my favorite headset. I've been using it nonstop. Have not touched my blue Tiger Elite. I keep it as a backup tucked away up uh, up in a cabinet. If this thing ever craps out on me, uh, I'll buy another one. Big shout out and thanks to Blue Parrot for sending us this. We were a quality versus quantity kind of people and this thing definitely fits the quality that we look for and equipment that we need out here on the road. Uh, hope you guys liked the video uh, and we'll see you in our next one. Peace, love, and expediting.